How's it going everybody? Another day, another toy. Today we're going to look at Moon Knight. We're going to get back into the Spider-Man Homecoming series. There's our man on the back. Uh, Moon Knight is an interesting person. His name is actually Mark Spector, not to be confused with Phil Spector. If you don't know who Phil Spector is, uh, Google it. It's a great story. Uh, this is Mark Spector, and he has a couple different stories, but long story short, he got beat up and thrown into uh, a pyramid. He found some cool stuff, and he became Moon Knight. Here's our first look while the figure's still on the tray. You can see he comes with a couple moons to throw, a set of extra hands, a wonderful cape, and that strange double staff that we first got with the Daredevil figure. Here we have the basic figure out of packaging, and this is always one of those like superhero or bad guy costumes where they just kind of, they have a name and they just cram as much of that name into the outfit as they can. Uh, let's see how many moons we can put on one outfit, I guess was the goal uh, with this one. Here we have a comparison between the old Marvel Legends Moon Knight and the new one. And this is actually a really good comparison because you can see his two different outfits. Uh, the new one, the armored version, is his kind of newer look, while his older look is reflected in the Marvel Legends that came out. Uh, this is from the MODOK wave, and it was actually the last wave uh, that Toy Biz had uh, the license for Marvel Legends. There were actually two versions of that Moon Knight. There was also just a silver version, which you can see behind my very, very dusty uh, Wonder Man and Vision. The original Moon Knight had a silver outfit because, in fact, he was hunting uh, a werewolf. His first appearance was in Werewolf by Night number 32 way back in 1975. Uh, and another fun fact is the name Moon Knight was actually given to him by the people who hired him uh, to hunt down the werewolf. Don't worry, Werewolf by Night was okay. Uh, in the end, he decided he was a swell guy and not to kill him. In addition to having the new armor, there's also a, a nice uh, upgrade from the original Moon Knight. If you look, the original Moon Knight had a cape and hood that were one piece, uh, which kind of hid everything. And the newer one, uh, it's two separate pieces, and you can actually rotate Moon Knight's head without it affecting his cape. The figure has two different hands, one that's open uh, and one that looks like a closed fist, but when you really, really look closely there's these small little grooves in there and the three small moons that he comes with fit kind of perfectly into those little grooves i say perfectly uh in that they fit but be warned these uh tiny moons are about the size of a cat claw uh, and they don't really stay in and if you have thick carpeting like i do uh, you'll end up spending a significant portion of your afternoon looking for one of these little guys uh, after they fall out we also get that goofy double staff that first came with the Daredevil figure and has made its way into other hands such as Mockingbird, etc. Uh, I'm not sure about you all, but I'm not really a big fan of this thing. It's, it's, I, get, I get the idea, but it's just it doesn't really work. And uh, when you have like a full-size staff, it makes a lot more sense. Here's another thing I noticed after taking it out of packaging, and that is that apparently Moon Knight and Spidey Gwen there must uh, shop at the same stores. And the last thing, of course, that you get in the package is a piece of the Vulture Build-A-Wing. Uh, I don't have the connecting part for this attached yet, so tune in soon enough and we will actually finish up uh, the Vulture figure from Spider-Man Homecoming. 